Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we present you 50 beautiful retro historical photos. We hope you will appreciate our work. Write your comment and click the subscribe button. Enjoy the show and here we go.
actress Becky LeBeau 1988. Donna Derrico, star of the TV series Baywatch. Photo 1989. From the early 20th century, somewhere in the Northeast, comes this 4x5-inch glass negative with the caption, LK Bicycles at Spring. New York circa 1912. The big buildings of Lower Manhattan. Wyoming baseball is all it says on this 4x5 negative from the same batch of glass plates as these college lads. San Francisco circa 1925. Cunningham Auto and Chorus Girls. A little of everything going on here vaudeville, car trouble, assault. December 4th, 1937. Washington, D.C. Correct way to bake turkey. H.E. McClure of the Bureau of Husbandry tests the turkey meat for odor. November 26, 1929. Thanksgiving turkeys for the president. Washington, D.C. Thanksgiving 1919. Once this chilly looking fellow is properly dressed and warmed up in the kitchen, he'll have an honored place at the family table. Circa 1922 in San Francisco, this aging Chalmers touring car needs a new shoe. Since we're at the Maxwell Chalmers dealer, why not take a look at the new models? December 1934. No elephant toys for First Lady. Mrs. Roosevelt, on a Christmas shopping tour, had a hard time convincing Santa Claus that she did not want a toy elephant, a symbol of the Republican Party, as a Christmas present. From around 1910 comes this 5x7 glass negative showing a rail car fitted with what? Scranton, Pennsylvania, circa 1901. Board of Trade and Linden Street. Completed in 1896. Circa 1945, the Future Life magazine photographer Tony Link and two close associates. I purchased this 8x10 photo at a swap meet. On the back it says, LR Wally Miles, Jackie Regard, 
Francis Willems. San Francisco circa 1922. Army car with carriage mounted searchlight. A military grade Cadillac at the Presidio next to an aircraft hangar. Six exposed plates at Father Glasser's camp on Sunday, October 12, 1902. The only plate remaining in the original box of 12, this would seem to show a mission or church camp south of the border. Circa 1920. Set pieces, Arlington Hotel, including a polar pastry snowball iced with Cookery 1909. Washington, D.C., 1919. Red Cross Vocational Education, Dietetic, Morse School. San Francisco, circa 1925. Film star Mae Murray and Wessenberg Otto. nineteen twenty seven New York City views Long Beach with more than a few examples of street clothes in the sand San Francisco circa nineteen thirties Locomobile ninety Victoria Sedan with a factory price of $7,300, this Giant Series 90 Victoria came at the end of the road for the revered locomobile brand. Lowler, GWU, 1920. John, Johnny. Lowler, formerly of Tech High, now a Hatchetite's Gridiron Star. April 1942. Drummer Red Saunders and his band at the Club de Lisa, Chicago. From circa 1910 somewhere in the northeast comes this 5 by 7 inch glass negative label. Cooks and Kitchen. San Francisco or thereabouts circa 1919. Chalmers Touring Car. At what seems to be a deluxe cow barn. August 27, 1935. Congressional Pages Mr. Sandman. Fred Johnson of Wyoming and Howard Osman of the District of Columbia. Congressional Pages. Photographed as they snatched a bit of shut-eye while the House and Senate brought the session to an ignominious adjournment. Circa 1905. Launching of the Detroit, Detroit Yacht Club. Madonna Louise Ciccone, American singer-songwriter, 1979. Circa 1910. 
San Francisco circa 1923. Buick Touring Car at Victor's Dog. San Francisco, 1934. Fist Service Garage. So, mister, you say it pulls to the right? Merry Christmas from the family. Actor Chuck Connors, his wife Betty and their sons Jeffrey, Stephen, Michael and Kevin circa 1960 at their home in Los Angeles. March 22, 1941. Pontiac in Mount Davidson Park, San Francisco. So if a tree falls on a convertible in the woods, Nineteen twenty-four, Ario Taxi Cab, San Francisco. Why Uber when you can Rover? January nineteen forty-three. Freight operations on the Chicago Northwestern between Chicago and Clinton, Iowa. The crew, with exception of the firemen, chat while waiting for orders to pull out. Washington, D.C., circa 1935. Children playing with a cameo appearance by our old friend Turnbuckle Star. Graham Page Sedan, San Francisco. It's a beautiful sunny day in 1929. What could go wrong? Mill Valley, California, circa 1925. Nash touring car with trailer, outfitted with a patriotic profusion of flags. Nineteen oh nine, Midwinter Carnival, children's parade with dog sled, Upper Saranac Lake, New York. August 1941. Stockman on street corner outside Bar the Mint, Sheridan, Wyoming. October 1919. California Highway Motor Train in San Francisco. A publicity stunt showcasing the nascent field of long-distance trucking as facilitated by the giant pneumatic tire. February 21, 1924. Washington, D.C. McLeod robbed. M. Clancy. So what's going on here? Blue Earth Skating Pond, January 6, 52. This slide by Hubert Tuttle opens the winter edition of Minnesota Kodachromes. 
hot chocolate, anyone? San Mateo County, California, 1924. Daily City Deputy Health Officer and Construction Trucks. Also the quarters of the constable, not to mention oil and greasing. Taken near Pikes Peak, Colorado, my great-grandfather's brother, George W. Downing, poses with his wife, family, and one great automobile. New Orleans circa 1880s to 1890s. Street in the French Quarter. San Francisco, 1924. Flint Roadster at Golf Course. Detroit, CA 1903. Children's Playground, Bellow Park. Please note, children only. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Donna Edmondson is a charming American model and actress, 1989. Hottie in a black swimsuit, 1970s. Diane Weber, American actress, photo model, bikini photo 1957. February 1936, Washington, D.C., heated taxi cab. Sure, but can you summon it with an app? March 16, 1897. USS Brooklyn, Office of Executive Officer. Note the ancient typewriter. Toledo, Ohio, circa 1901. Toledo Club, convenient to the Steinway store and quarters. Nineteen nineteen vehicle at Fire Hall, copied onto a circa nineteen fifties sheet of Eastman X ray film. January eighteen ninety seven, USS Brooklyn, First Sergeant, Marine Corps. Grace, Sally Hubert, September 18, 1951. 
The latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes finds the Tuttles out enjoying a fine sunny day. Nineteen thirty five, Washington, D.C. View looking down from U.S. Capitol Dome, West Front. San Francisco, 1921. Saxon Auto and Fishing Boats. Another automotive brand not long for this earth. World War Veteran Bonus Expeditionary Force. Seen from the Bonus March on Washington, when thousands of veterans converged on the Capitol in 1932 to demand cash redemption of their World War I service certificates, a bonus that wasn't supposed to be paid until 1945. The Pacific Northwest in 1918. Kissel Military Highway Scout Car at Sunset Lodge. July 1913. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Gettysburg Reunion, GR. UCV veterans at the encampment. Kissel Military Highway Scout Car. From somewhere in the woodsy Pacific Northwest comes the Scout Car, with 1918 Washington State dealer plates. Nineteen sixteen, Dolly's sister with Buzzer the Cat, portrait photograph. One of the Dolly sisters, Rose and Jenny, Twin vaudeville stars from Budapest who made it big in America. San Francisco circa 1910. W.W. Montague Company plumber with water heater and bathtub. San Francisco. 1934 Federal Truck, City Ice Delivery Company. A business that was melting away. From somewhere in New England in the 1940s comes this uncaptioned 4x5 Agfa negative of three happy guys and their Ford truck. New York, 1944. Pawnbroker and prospective customer. I imagine the idea here was to convey the wholesome, cheery atmosphere of the typical pawn shop. July 21st, 1923. Water conduit. Part of the Washington, D.C. aqueduct system along what used to be called Conduit Road. Circa 1908. Broadway and Grand Union Hotel, Saratoga Springs, New York. The Bay Area in 1918. Service truck and greens. Eucalyptus trees and some sort of leafy vegetable. Circa 1920. 
circa 1918. The Heart of Detroit. From 1912 or later comes elderly man in rocking chair watching the world go by from the vine covered porch of his cozy cottage directed ad 1901 at 479 main street circa 1900 in parts unknown seth lamb at wills F 4.53.5 F Kodak. Washington, D.C., 1928. Going out on a low note. Women with contrabass tuba is all it says here. August 1912, Campus Martius and Detroit Opera House, with much interesting signage. San Francisco circa 1920, Peerless Touring Car along with what could be a demonstration of either aerodynamics or sobriety at the start of Prohibition. Charming actress Dawn Grace in 1962. circa 1900. Letty's girl with bicycle and dog. Circa 1900, back at the Handlebars homestead. Letty's bikes. F5.6 no filter 2. In shirts is what it says on the sleeve. May 1943. Bethlehem Fairfield Shipyards, Baltimore, Maryland. Liberty Ship Construction. Welding on a hatch assembly at night. Northern California in 1924. Willis Knight Touring Car on Dirt Road. Floyd at Folks, January 20th, 1952. In this latest installment of Minnesota Kodachromes, Floyd shows that warmth and style need not be mutually exclusive. New York circa 1905. Circus at Luna Park, Coney Island. From the early 1900s comes this nightshirt posse of college men, possibly in Wyoming. Three cheers for old Pimento U. This was taken in Provincetown, Massachusetts. All I know about it is the year and location.
Detroit circa 1911. Dime Savings Bank under construction. From circa 1900 in parts unknown comes this 4x5 glass negative of G.H. Wood Jeweler, the business, and possibly a wood or two. Pages on Fillmore Hill at Broadway, San Francisco in 1926. From circa 1900, somewhere in North America, comes this glass negative label. Ladies, women on swing. From around 1952, what looks to be somewhere in the Northeast, comes this faded 120 ectochrome of a city's service gas station. Washington, D.C., 1935. Woman at Western Electric Telephone Switchboard. The Bay Area in 1920. Dodge Auto on Boardwalk. The Dammer on Miller Tires Coast to Coast. December 1942. Production. B-17 Heavy Bomber. The four mighty engines of a new B-17F, Flying Fortress, bomber warm up at the airfield of Boeing's Seattle plant as another warship of the air awaits its flight test. Letty's Ma and Tot. From around 1900, it's Miss, or Mrs., Handlebars again, and our third look at her house, along with another look at the baby. New York circa 1912. Wall Street with view of Bankers Trust Building and Trinity Church. Nineteen ten. Dalton All Star Baseball Team Elm Street Field, Dalton Penna. San Francisco, 1920. Diamond Tea Truck, Deland Sun Draymond. Bonus photo for you, a beautiful retro woman. The Stunning Samantha Fox 1989 Stunning Raquel Welch in a Stunning Evening Gown 1966 
charming actress Samantha Fox 1988. Washington, D.C., circa 1926. George Washington U. Who will be first to recognize one of these anonymous alums? December 1941. White Motor Company, Cleveland. A half-track scout car gets a touch-up job on the chassis assembly line. A durable finish protects the metal and helps to bring the vehicle up to Army standards of smartness. Nineteen twenty-five, Indian Guides and Nash Auto at Covalo Stables, Mendocino County, California. From Marquette, Michigan, comes this glass plate dated 1890 and labeled Peterson. Say, I'll bet you kids have never been on the internet before. 1920. The Bay Area in 1923. Peerless touring car fully equipped with two spares. August 8, 1925. Washington, D.C. Plans men sightseeing at the Capitol. Circa 1917, Jordan Turing Car. Sweetheart, we're out of gas. And by the way, do we want kids? Like 19 of them? Our fourth and final look at this muddy motor car. Washington, D.C. Congressional Ball Game, 1918. If the baseball equivalent of a filibuster is the no-hitter, their fans went home disappointed. New York, 1930. Margolis Betty Miss Profile View. Nineteen twenty five Overland at Land's End and Lincoln Park Golf Course. Washington, D.C., nineteen twenty seven Congressional Pages Senate Basketball. Washington, D.C., 1925. Ford Motor Company, A.P. Woodson Company, Coal Truck. Circa 1905. Lakeshore Caboose. Yet another negative we bought years ago for 99 cents from someone in Ohio. We may not know the name of the photographer, but we know what he looks like. Circa 
circa 1898. League Island Navy Yard, Philadelphia. USS Brooklyn Spar Deck. The Bay Area circa 1917. Jordan Turing Car. Our second look at this intrepid couple, motoring along a freshly plowed highway in their seven-passenger luxury car. Washington, D.C., or vicinity, 1923. Getting ready for Halloween, and it's nobody's business where he got the pumpkin. Washington, D.C., circa 1927. And no caption, man with skull display. Friends of the family, no doubt. Two people just minding their business who find themselves staring into the ravenous maw of the internet. Names, location, photographer unknown. From around 1905 comes this grimy 5x7 glass negative that Shorby bought years ago, but never got around to scanning till today. On the piano, that old toe tapper, Roosevelt's Grand March. Nineteen fifty-four. Merrill Lynch account executive chalks up current stock prices on quotation board in firm's new mobile office. Long Beach, California, Bathing Beauty Parade 1927. August 1942, New York, window of a Jewish religious shop on Broom Street. October 1939. Boys from Dead Ox Flat waiting for the school bus in the morning. Malheur County, Oregon. Picnic at Austin, Minnesota, September 7, 1952. Although the trees are still green and it's technically still summer, the native fauna's coats are thickening, ready to blend in when autumn arrives. San Francisco, California, 1920s. Young man on Harley Davidson Motorcycle, California State Automobile Association Broken Glass Department Patrol. San Francisco circa 1917. Jordan Turing car with children. The enchanting Don Grayson of the 1960s. July 1940. Quick photos at the Fiesta at Taos, New Mexico. July 
July 1940. Quick photos at the Fiesta at Taos, New Mexico. Washington, D.C., circa 1919. Organ grinder with a custom fitted organ cover. Manhattan circa 1906. Trinity Building in Broadway, New York. September 1938. WPA, Works Progress Administration, workers' children with toys in their play yard. South Charleston, West Virginia. This was a party thrown for my mom and dad who are somewhat lost in the background, behind the cut-ups in front at the house of a friend in South Pasadena, 1954. Washington, D.C., 1925. Ford Motor Company Consumers Company Coal Truck, circa 1925. Man pointing at California State Automobile Association signage. Woman with pennant reading booze the Redwood Highway. Northern California circa 1927. California State Automobile Association official mechanical. First Aid and Towing Service Station. May 1942. Southington, Connecticut. Where Southington folk buy their magazines. Photo by Fenno Jacobs for the OWI. March 15, 1917, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Manley Creason, Creason, 914 West 6th Street. Messenger number six, McKay Telegraph Company. Says he is 14, school records say 13. Says he has steady job, been a messenger for years. Get $15 for two weeks pay dot. September 1952, Republican presidential candidate Dwight D. Eisenhower campaigning in the Midwest. Includes Eisenhower on a whistle-stop tour in motorcades and addressing large crowds at political rally in South Bend, Indiana. Nineteen forty-two. Effect of gasoline shortage in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., circa 1935. Post Office Department Building. Old, far left, and new Post Office Department. San Francisco in 1920. Oldsmobile Touring Car. It's dapper drivers signaling either, hello, or a right turn. Circa 
circa 1901. The fur's new Baltimore, Michigan from West. Our fourth look at this summer resort, where two ladies are setting out in the Surrey with the fringe on top. Circa 1912. Foundation for Retort House, construction for Detroit City Gas Company. May 1920. Yosemite National Park. Prize Cup, fourth annual AAA economy run. Los Angeles to Camp Curry. Circa 1905. Union League Club Building, Cleveland. See you tonight in White City at the Hilarity Parade. Floyd Loren Dottie Boots at Folks January 20th, 1952. From the shores of Lake Wobegon comes this latest installment of Minnesota Kodachromes. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Sweet Kathy Smith, American Personal Trainer, 1976. Beautiful Carmen Russo is a famous Italian actress, 1983. Charming Joy Lansing, American Actress 1953. K. Fancher, February 23, 1952. The latest episode of Minnesota Kodachrome's co-stars Hubert's record collection which includes the classics Accordiana and Larry Adler, Harmonica Virtuoso. Pittsburgh circa 1912, Pennsylvania Avenue and Joseph Horn Store. Detroit, Michigan, circa 1905. Cincinnati, Hamilton and Dayton Railroad Office, Woodward Jefferson Aves. Washington, D.C. N.O. Caption, Girl with Doll, 1926 or 1927. Probably warning her about that McCarthy boy. July 1911. Street scene, Second Avenue, Asbury Park. Greetings from this pleasant setting for the ice wagon, streetcar, sandwich shop and resort hotels. October 1939. Five Idaho farmers, members of Ola Self Help Summer Co op, in the woods standing against a load of logs ready to go down to their mill about three miles away. 
Gem County, Idaho. December 1942. Checking electrical wiring assemblies for B-17F, Flying Fortress, bombers at the Boeing plant in Seattle. Merchants Transfer Storage Company, Washington, D.C. In 1911, moving a boiler on D Street within sight of the Capitol with a 12-horse team. Bonus, many old billboards. Amy Frandel, March 2, 1952. The latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes takes place at the kitchen table. The cake looks delicious, but we'll start with a slice of that cherry pie, please. Nineteen forty-four, actress Lauren Bacall, three-quarters portrait, in houndstooth check jacket. Circa nineteen ten, Ford J. Mrs. Group. An outlier among Harris Ewing's generally sedate and sober studio portraits. Ford J. Mrs. Group. Sequel to the whimsical Harris Ewing portrait. February 1943. This image in a jacket marked killed dot from photos taken in and around Albuquerque, New Mexico. Washington, D.C., circa 1915. Purchase David E. A yard youngster and his mate at the Harris Ewing Portrait Studio, not long before his life seems to have been cut tragically short in a traffic accident. February 28, 1952 Maureen, whose husband, Leslie, Washington, D.C., circa 1915. Miss Elizabeth Clem, daughter of Major General John L. Clem, famed in Grand Army circles as the drummer boy of Chickamauga. January 1937. Deerfield, Florida. Migrant agricultural worker from Oklahoma. Nineteen ten, Forsyth Street, looking east. Our twentieth large format, high resolution view of Jacksonville, Florida. Washington, D.C., CA 1913. Hollow Horn Bear. May 4, 1952. Dam at Blue Earth Below Cemetery. The latest installment of Minnesota Kodachromes might be titled Tadpole and the Big Dippers.
November 17, 1953. FR Machine Works, 44 to 14, Astoria Boulevard, Long Island City, New York General View from Balcony. CM Johnson Client. June 1942. United States Office of Defense Transportation System of Port Control and its Traffic Channel Control. Washington, D.C. April 1930. Washington, D.C. Rush Hour, 15th Street and New York Avenue at Treasury. Hubert at Claude's Farm, April 27, 1952. Hubert Tuttle and his Dalmatian, Sally, star in this latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes. Washington, D.C., circa 1912. Employees at Printing Presses, Bureau of Engraving and Printing, Washington, D.C. Safest driver of 1936, John W. Hunter. Stunning American actress Atherine Bach, Nature Photo Shoot 1976. Panama Canal Excavation, 1913. The world's most celebrated shortcut marks its centennial this month. Washington, D.C., circa 1940. Caffritz, Morris, Mrs. A leader in both parties and philanthropy, Gwendolyn Kaffritz was the Hungarian-born wife of real estate developer Morris Kaffritz. April 1939. Salvation Army, San Francisco, California. At Minnis Street, the Army forms a semicircle. Girls' Sunday school class sings between preaching to attract a crowd. Elwyn asleep April 11, 1952. This outtake from Minnesota Kodachromes was evidently deemed worth saving despite the photographer's being at the end of his role. Circa 1903. Unloading bananas at New Orleans final installment of a thrilling trilogy we've watched unfold here over the past three years. July 1939. Siler City, North Carolina. Resting place of MP. circa 1910. Hotel Halcyon and Avenue be looking North Miami, Florida. January 20th, 1921. Washington, D.C. 
American Forestry Association Birdhouse Contest. Grace Sally, September 18, 1951. Minnesota Kodachromes at Home in Blue Earth. Washington, D.C., 1920s. Gainer, John F., Mrs., who looks like someone you would want to have at your party. July 1939. Applicate embroideries for sale on street in front of 10 cent store. Saturday afternoon, Siler City, North Carolina. Nineteen oh four, Produce Exchange, New York, New York. George Post Commodity Exchange on Broadway, completed in eighteen eighty four. July 1939. The Main Street, Chatham Avenue, of Siler City, North Carolina. April 1943. Baltimore, Maryland. Crowded bus carrying people to work at 8 a.m. Washington, D.C., circa 1920. Iden V. Gilmore, Mrs. We sense a charity play in the offing and vaguely recall having plans every night that month. Picnic at Austin Vern, Ruth, Ida Pete, September 7, 1952. Philadelphia circa 1907. Broad Street North from Locust with view of City Hall. Post and Montgomery Streets, corner of Market. Another view of San Francisco after the devastating earthquake and fire of April 1906. Washington, D.C., circa 1920. Swartzball C., Mrs., will be the first to write on her wall. Dennis Hahn Dance Company founder Ruth Street Dennis and husband Ted Sean with garden party guests, bridesmaids, caterers, Vestal Virgins, among them the modern dance pioneers Louise Brooks and Martha Graham. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Sweet American actress Catherine Bach, 1975.
charming English glamour model and actress Donna Evan, 1989. Washington, D.C., 1919. Franklin Motor Car Company Police Van. June 1929. Young boy with bucket and pole on the Potomac. We hope you have a license to operate that thing. Detroit, Michigan, circa 1905. Cincinnati, Hamilton and Dayton Railroad Office, Woodward Jefferson Aves. Card game at Floyd's February 11th, 1952. Going clockwise from lower left, Daddy, Ivan, Grace, Ratch and Floyd playing Rummy Royal. May 1943. Keysville, Virginia. Randolph Henry High School. Kitchen of cafeteria. Lunches cost about 15 cents. Students don't have much money and they bring produce from farms and receive tickets. January 1922. Three REO speed wagons delivered by True Motor Company to the DC Police Department for patrols. New York in 1909. Metropolitan Life Insurance Building in Madison Square. Demonstration at the Red Cross Emergency Ambulance Station in Washington, D.C. during the influenza pandemic of 1918. September 7, 1952. Picnic at Austin. Ivan, Dowdy, Loren, Grace. June 1924. Washington, D.C. Largest and most powerful electric locomotive in the world being exhibited by the Chicago, Milwaukee St. Paul Railway and the General Electric Company. May 1942. Paris Island, South Carolina. Marine Corps Glider Detachment Training Camp. A glider winch. Hubert Sally, August 1952. In the latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes, the DeSoto and Dalmatian we saw with Grace are back for an encore. June 1924. Washington, D.C. Largest and most powerful electric locomotive in the world being exhibited by the Chicago, Milwaukee St. Paul Railway and the General Electric Company. April 1956. Shirtless teenage boy dancing in the audience at a performance by Bill Haley and the Comets and Laverne Baker at the sports arena. Hershey, 
Pennsylvania. October 1939. Display of magazines for sale in Taylor, Texas. We'll take one of each, please. April 1956. Performance by Bill Haley and the Comets and Laverne Baker at the Sports Arena in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Washington, D.C., 1924. Brock Creek Park Scenes. Girls on Bridge. L.R., Catherine Wren, Norvell Munford, Mary Happer, C. Celeste Jones, Jesse Atkins, Doris Wagner, Virginia Selden, Mildred Crosby, and Mary Selden. Leslie, February 28, 1952. Visiting the abode of Grace and Hubert whose low-key decor whispers of subdued scarlets and tentative teals. July 13, 1952. Maureen, Grace, Helen, Albert, Leslie and Morris at St. Mary's, Rochester. July 1940. Migratory agricultural worker from Florida waiting to leave Belcross, NC, to another job at Omni, Virginia. It is Sunday and she is wearing her best clothes. March 1943. Walter V. Dew, rear brakeman on the Atchison, Topeka Santa Fe between Chicago and Chillicothe, Illinois, watching the train from the cupola. April 2, 1909. Playground at Hamilton Fish Park. New York, New York, it's a toddler town. Howard Rena, April 1952. Visiting Claude's farm somewhere in Minnesota, affording us our third look at these colorful Kodachromes. Washington, D.C. An O caption is the caption on this Harris Ewing glass negative from 1935 of a lady and her furry friend. Chicago circa 1910. Madison Street, Hotel Brevort La Salle Opera House. Grace at Claude's Farm, April 27, 1952. Along with Sally the Dalmatian, in our second slide from the Minnesota Kodachromes we got on eBay. Stunning brown-haired Natalie Banas, 1989. December 17, 1943. Hoffman La Roche Incorporated, Nutley, New Jersey. Building 34, three kettles. Fodler Company Client. Nineteen oh nine. 
majestic building from Detroit Opera House with serve self lunch and basement. Washington, D.C., 1920. Mary Claffitt, Irene Ella Scherer, Mary Fassenier. December 1942. Chicago, Illinois. Working on a giant locomotive, one of the 400s, in the Chicago Northwestern Railroad shops. Butch Sally. February 13, 1952. Introducing a new series of Kodachromes that beautiful historical, found on eBay, taken by a family somewhere in Minnesota. Toledo, Ohio, circa 1909. Madison Avenue. Fast forward a few years from our previous view of downtown Toledo, and we now have automobiles and a new booty. Toledo, Ohio, circa 1905. Madison Avenue from Summit Street, featuring the hotel booty and a number of painless dentists, as well as a nice display of wallpaper and decorative materials. December 17, 1943. Hoffman La Roche Incorporated, Nutley, New Jersey. Building 28. Fobler Company Client. Summer 1927. New York City views Long Beach. Raw material for Aglias Williams or Ra's chest. Nineteen thirty five. Row houses in Washington, D.C., running the vertical gamut from natty to gritty. Chinatown, San Francisco, August nineteen fifty seven. Taken on the same visit as the drive down the Vertigo location. Circa 1905. Front Piazza of Kittatinny House, Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. January 1942, Elm Street Theater Row in Dallas. Circa 1905, Street View, Delaware, Water Gap, Pennsylvania. May 1943, New York, emptying garbage and trash from Harlem apartment houses. Circa 1900, Pabs Brewery, Milwaukee, Avenue of the Beer Wagons.
April 1937. Negro Houses in Mobile, Alabama. Our third dispatch today from Arthur Rothstein's trip south for the Resettlement Administration. July 1942. East Montpelier, Vermont. Conrad Ormsby with automatic electric milkers. His father agreed to increase his Jersey herd from 25 to 30 milkers to aid in the Food for Freedom program. Washington, D.C., 1935. Senator Huey P. Long. New York circa 1907. Marble Collegiate Church, 5th Avenue. Surrounded by a host of ectoplasmic pedestrians. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Gail McKenna English, former Glamour Model 1988. Samantha Karen Fox is a British model and dance pop singer, 1987. Pretty Karen Brennan in a pink swimsuit, 1980s. The year, 1935, the place, somewhere in Washington, D.C., the lady with the Ford, unknown, but notable enough to have been in the Harris Ewing archive. nineteen thirty eight Smith Furnace Office Lincoln County North Carolina a relic of the charcoal iron industry with its forges and furnaces that grew up in the years after the Revolutionary War Washington DC nineteen twenty two number twelve engine company note the paper tape reels used for recording location information from Gamewell boxes the automatic telegraph system used by municipal fire alarms. Washington, D.C., 1922. Number 12 Engine Company. Note the paper tape reels used for recording location information from Gamewell boxes. The automatic telegraph system used by municipal fire alarms. November 1864. Church built by the 50th Engineers at Poplar Grove, near Petersburg, Virginia. November 1864. Church built by the 50th Engineers at Poplar Grove, near Petersburg, Virginia. July 14, 1913. French fate. Bastille Day in New York 101 years ago, where the continental lunch menu included frankfurters, clam chowder, all kinds of sandwiches, and ice cold milk. December 1942. Chicago, Illinois. Locomotive under repair at the Chicago Northwestern shops. So that's what that little step is for. The Sternwheeler City St. Joseph on the Mississippi River circa 1910. Unloading cotton on the levee. Memphis, Tennessee.
Van Ness Avenue Limit of Fire, San Francisco. Aftermath of the Devastating Earthquake of April 1906. Nineteen oh six. Bathing at City Point, South Boston, Massachusetts. Hey kid, put on a shirt. Hotel Brunswick, Boston. The final installment of today's nineteen oh six trilogy. January 1941. Old buildings in New Orleans. Custom buttons and sandwiches of all kind. March 1943. New York, New York. Madison Avenue on a rainy day. July 1942, East Montpelier, Vermont. Marilyn Ormsby, in striped dress, last seen here, is president of her 4-H club, the Montpelier Center Girls, where she learns how to sew and cook economically and well. July 22, 1936, aerial view of Pan American Airways China Clipper, Martin M-130 flying boat, over San Francisco with Coit Memorial Tower at left. July 1942. West Danville, Vermont. Guy Davenport, 11, and Maynard Clark, 14, reading the air raid instructions posted in Gilbert S. Hastings Post Office and General Store. Boston, Massachusetts, circa 1905. North Station, Union Station. Frozen forever at 10.40 a.m. Washington, D.C., circa 1921. Looking up Georgia Avenue at Howard Place. And Jacob Katzen's Grocery. Dealer in Velvet Kind Ice Cream and Whistle. Boston's Tremont Street circa 1906. Adams House and Keith's Theater. Noted vaudeville venue. Washington, D.C. or vicinity, 1935. Waterman Aeroplane. Waldo Waterman's rotable airplanes had no trouble getting airborne but they never really took off. Richmond, Virginia, circa 1912. Main Street, west from 11, featuring that guy. January 1939. Packing cabbages and truck to go to market from small truck farm of man from North Carolina near Bell Glade, Florida. November 11, 1922. Washington, D.C. Still, back alley mason jar hooch in the early years of prohibition. April 4, 1958. Photographs show actor Raymond Burr filming his television show Perry Mason with co-star Barbara Hale and others. February 1912. Henry, 
10-year-old oyster shucker who does five pots of oysters a day. Works before school, after school, and Saturdays. Been working three years. Maggioni Canning Company, Port Royal, South Carolina. Stunning Rachel Walsh, 1966. circa 1910. Maple Street, Springfield, Massachusetts, where Ivy was evidently quite popular. Circa 1910. Capitol Dome from Central Park, St. Paul, Minnesota. circa 1910. Post Office and First Street, Duluth, Minnesota. Continuing our visit to the Gopher State. April 1958. James Garner on the set of the television show Maverick. April 21st, 1958. James Garner on the set of the television show Maverick. With co-star Jack Kelly and the Wisconsin Agricultural Ambassador, Alice in Dairyland of 1957, Miss Nancy K. Truman. Circa 1900. Residence near Country Club, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Our house, a very, very, very fine house. News item. A photograph of the fox and its capture in the fox hunt staged in the Capitol grounds Monday, in which more than a score of persons aided the Capitol police force to run the brown animal in. November 1942, Chicago, Illinois. Engine taking on coal at an Illinois Central Railroad yard. August 16, 1954. Stanford Con, Housing Authority. Balcony A4, WFR Ballard Architect. Six shooter optional. November 22, 1905. Lakeshore Drive, Chicago. A nice day for a carriage ride, and look out for that omnibus. Taken by my dad in August 1957. Bay Bridge in the background. I'm sure someone with an intimate knowledge of the city and slash or Google Maps will figure out which street this is. January 1939. Small truck farmer from North Carolina. His neck was broken and is in a brace. Near Bell Glade, Florida. January 1937. Children of citrus workers in hallway of apartment house. Winter Haven, Florida. April 1936. Exterior of house at 912 North 8th Street. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. May 1936. 
home of worker in strip coal mine, Cherokee County, Kansas. Detroit circa 1902. A muscalinch fish? Who wants pike? September 1958. Rosalind Russell in costume from the film Menti Main posed with author Patrick Dennis, E. Tanner III. circa 1900. USS Texas discharging ammunition, the Navy battleship nicknamed Old Hoodoo. April 1936. House at 437 North Jackson Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. New York circa 1903. The Flatiron Building, where, as we like to say, there are three sides to every story. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. One of the photos from the 80s aerobic series. This is the end of our performance. We hope you enjoyed it and appreciate our work. See you in the next performance. Have a good day.